Hi guys, happy fall season, happy autumn season. It's finally getting cold and I'm so excited. Well, at least in my area, it's finally getting cold. Um, so these are my nails I did for Halloween. There is a video up if you want to see it. They're not the same. I did make some of them matte and I did get rid of a charm. But I have cuticle oil on so you can't tell that it's matte. But for today, this is my second attempt actually filming this. My first attempt is this. This was actually personal footage that I did on my phone. But it's the only usable footage I have of this nail set. So it is a little shaky. I am so proud of this. That's the first time I've ever attempted to do a gem placement like that. And that's the first time I ever tried to do a pumpkin. So it looks a little bit sketchy. I know it's not the best pumpkin, but I am so proud of it. I'm just so happy with this set. But nobody gets to see me make it. But you at least get to see what it looked like. And I'm happy about that. But nobody got to see me make it. And that's a little sad. But it's so beautiful. So I forget to mention this in all of my videos. But I am not professional nail fix. I just simply love doing nails. And I love just making some art <laughs> on nails. So these videos are actually considered my practice with me. I'm just trying to get better at nails. Because like I just I like doing them. So take the advice I give you. Don't take it so seriously because it might be the wrong advice. You always do your research. So I'm going to start off with base coat gel. I do this to even out the, the, from the tips needing each other. I don't want like a harsh line and it can help make the um, top of the nail very smooth. And that's why I do that. But as we know, we use base coat gel for a different reason when our real hands. But I'm not going to get into that today. So next, I'm actually going to do a slip layer of builder gel. I forgot to put the builder gel, I guess, on camera. I know I did it. I just, I guess I forgot to press record. But now I'm taking a bigger bead and I'm just floating it across the nail. These nails, I tried to do it correctly on camera for one time. But it just kept getting bigger and bulkier because I couldn't get the apex in the right spot the way I was sitting. So I do fix these nails off camera. I attempted it with the first one and then I tried it again with the second one. It still wasn't working, but I still tried my hardest to, to show you how I like to build nails. It wasn't working. So yes, I do build my nails off camera, but I do show me applying product on the nails on camera, but they don't really have the a, a proper apex or anything like that when I'm doing these nails. Like that looks fine on camera, but if you were to turn it sideways, you would see that there is not one apex in there. It's a flat nail. Like I kept trying to do it, but like this, I just tried my hardest to do it, but it just, it wasn't working. I had to do it off camera. So with this, this is the blossom gel. I'm just applying a thin layer on top of the nail and so this is the color i'm using today it's like a burnt orange it's really pretty i love it and so i'm using more like copper and bronze colors today the reason why i'm not describing the colors is because i i'm bad and terrible at describing colors so but i use more copper and bronze colors i just knew i didn't want more of like the traditional gold or like yellow gold colors i wanted to stay away from them i felt like that was like a little harsh for this set well i'm gonna take this polish and i'm gonna dab it all over the nail i really don't care where i place it it's just in wherever i felt like putting it at that moment and then i'm taking the liner brush and i'm just running the brush through it not really caring where i like swirl just trying to make sure i just got like a good coverage of the surface and so i'm placing these glitters into that wet gel so in this video i learned that i love placing glitter with the liner brush i i never used the liner brush to do this 
and like it was so much easier than the brush I was using before because I felt like I had more control over where the glitter was going so I'm so happy I at least learned that even with the um foil I was picking up the foil so much easier and I was placing it on the nails easier like I struggled so much with placing foil on the nail I, I can't explain how much I struggle it's just hard even picking it up with the products I was using and foil sticks to everything which is why I was always confused how come I was having so many issues so I'm placing these leaves I'm trying to place them in the middle of the nails because I'm going I don't want to file through them and so this builder gel I keep having contradictive thoughts on it because like I said it's not a good gel for encapsulating but what it's not a good gel for is actually that surround wrap trick as long as you're encapsulating with this gel it is fine but if you try to place that surround wrap trick do that it's going to create bubbles in your nails and you're going to see them and it's going to make the gel cloudy so i would avoid using that like technique at all with this gel that's but it's still a good gel i'm still use it so i completely ignored what i just did because i wanted to let you know that this is a good gel it was just me so what i did i just put some alcohol on the lint free wipe and i wiped off all the dust on the nails and then i'm doing two coats of each polish on the nails this looks bronze in the pot on camera but it's really like this peachy color it's a very light color in the pot but when i got it on the nail it, it does look very bronze more bronze than i expected but i'm not mad at it i felt like it flowed with the set really well and then i yes i did use a lot of inspiration for my blue set <laughs> Because I did have a bronze nail and I did have a clear nail. I just wanted to use some of the ideas from that set because I really liked it. <laughs> I really liked the nail set and I just, I didn't want to scrap the idea completely. So with this nail foil, I did, I, you saw me take off the tacky layer on all the nails. Um, and then I put that foil gel down. I let that foil gel sit for a long time. I mean, I cured it and I let it sit for a long time and it had got unsticky. So it really wasn't going to work because I just let it sit there after I done cured it. And so that's the reason why it didn't work the first time because I just let it sit there and I let it sit there and then I decided what foil to use. I should have um, buffed the nails, reapplied that foil gel, and then put that foil on. But I didn't realize what I did till afterwards. So I decided to reapply foil gel on both of those nails. And I decided to use this foil. And I did the same thing. I let it sit for a little while. But also, I um, when I took the foil gel off, I mean, when I took the foil off originally, I actually reapplied the color because it was like inconsistent and so I forgot to take the tacky layer off of the color and I put the foil gel on top and if you know you never do that because it's not going the foil gel is not going to hair properly it's not going to work and so that's what I did and at that point once I removed this foil I was just tired of even trying because it was clearly just me it was not the product's fault it was me I should have worked smarter and quicker than I was actually doing but I was still trying to figure out the plan for what I wanted and like I usually have like a vague idea but it, I really didn't know what I want to do and I kept jumping from ideas but it still turned out beautiful so I'm not complaining but this foil gel did sit so I was able to peel that sticker that I just placed back up because I hate it sticking right there in the middle of that nail I'm not gonna film me pulling it up, but I do pull it up and I moved it. And I'm so much happier with where I moved it. So all the stickers that are just hanging off the nail, I do cut them with some cuticle nippers off camera. I don't like to fold them under like some people and I have them under there. I like to um, get, cut them off because if, when they're on the side like that, they can cause your top, your top coat to peel. And I already pick at cuticles, so I try to do everything I can to avoid that. Even though this is a fake hand, I still use the same technique because I will forget and do that on my own hand. So I try to use the proper technique all the way around. So I decided to match this whole set. I thought it would be cute. Didn't like the ring in that middle finger mat at all. I think it's cute. I just, I 
think it's too much for this set. So these are the charms I was going to use. And that was this oil gel. Not oil. Rhinestone gel I used. So I'm not going to go too much into detail about it. Because the footage is missing. I thought I recorded. I thought the red light was blinking when I was recording it. But I ended up with no footage. I have no clue what happened. Because I promise I saw that red light on it. But I don't actually end up using that stone right there in the middle. I do change it out for a different color. I just felt like it was too light for this set. And this, these cuticle make caviar beads. I found a better way to apply these than what I was doing. If you see, I'm using like the dotting tool. I found a much easier way. I would, I'm going to make a video. I'm going to do this again because I like, I love these looks with the caviar beads like this. And like, I just, I was inspired by them and I just wanted to try it. And I'm so happy I did, but I'm going to try it again. I want to do a silver look with them. And like, I could show you the new trick that I learned with how to apply them, which is probably everybody already knows. And again, like I said, that rhinestone placement, the video, they're gone. I'm sorry that you missed me applying those. So what I just did was I put some top coat on that palette I just showed you. And I'm just top coating all of the caviar beads. There's one bead just in the way. So I'm going to pry it and I'm going to push it back into the, where it's supposed to go. I'm just going to top coat it. It's just, it's going to stick because it's a caviar bead. It's not going to go anywhere. So I'm just top coating the caviar beads and the metal embellishments that are on the nails. You can't really see it. Some of them, but they're there. <laughs> You'll see them in the arm um, and... So I'm going to make these two nails shiny because I didn't like them that. <laughs> and I did top coat under the bottom of that one nail just because it was supposed to be like a glass nail and it provides more clarity in it. And then I'm going to apply a matte top coat on those nails. With this rhinestone glue, I did bust it and then I wiped it off with some alcohol because if I didn't, it was not going to stick to this nail because that rhinestone glue kind of repels top coat for some reason. I don't understand what it's doing, but like you have to wipe it with some alcohol and buff it to get it to adhere. So this is my final product and I am so in love. I love these so much. I thought they turned out really great. Um... I just I have no complaints I really wish the only thing I wish is that I got my rhinestone placement on camera I'm so upset that the footage is missing because like I know I saw a red record button I was trying to make sure that it was on, caught on camera but I didn't want to scrap the video even though that was missing because I did at least have a really good set But I will have more fall content, not this year, but next year. Because this is the end of my fall nails. I'll have, I think I'll have a haul next after this video. But thank you guys for joining me. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you everybody for watching. watching. And I want you to have an amazing day, guys. Bye.